Well, CJ Entis is just having their day today. Um, they're definitely in first place, and they've proved that they're the first place. Uh, let's see who our MVP tonight is. And it's Biao. I kind of expected Bunny, but yeah. He's, under, uh, he's on number one, you know, ranking. Just you guys just saw. He says, he says he's happy, you know, that the team won. He says he w he says he doesn't think that he'll be he'll be able to stay number one for winners uh, ranking. Let's see who he thinks of his rival. Um, he says hero, hero for the winners ranking. Well, hero makes appearance in ace matches quite frequently, but Biol also does. So. So it can be, you know, Byung or Byol or Hero, from bo uh, th all three of them for CJ. Byol says he doesn't know. And as everyone uh, everyone can remember, uh, Bial lost against Terror in round one, and he wanted to win so much this round. And today, he didn't think that he would lose at all. He just came here thinking that he will win. He wants to win. So we're going to watch that recap soon. That part, do you remember? Do you remember, do you remember? Yes, this is when uh, he hit his drones. As Moonglade was uh, able to point out earlier, to try to surprise those links. He only got one, but a good idea. He says he was kind of nervous. Biao. Only one died. But what if three of them died? He might have lost. But you know, Biao's control was just fantastic. You know, as you can see, Terra has no minerals at all. Let's see if he has a tip on blocking this a counter build. He says his build was, you know, just better than uh, Terra's build from the beginning. So if Terra wants to win, Biao has to make a mistake. Kanata is asking if all the, uh, if what would happen if all the drones come out. You still can't block it. Well, then you won't have any money. You know, I think Bill just said that. But right. So they're talking about the position of the drone right now. Let's hear. So Bill actually planned all that. The controls. And Biel says he actually prefer, prefers this build. Nada is saying that you shouldn't say that, you know, it's gonna be, you're gonna be exposed. And Biel says he only uses this build on ladder, so. So mostly it's gonna be him. He says he, it wasn't, it wasn't dangerous at all at this point. What if, what if he went for Zerg Wings instead of Roaches? And uh, Biel says it would have been, it would have given um, Terror an opportunity to win. But still, Biel is in a really good condition these days. He still has his ups and downs. But only a little bit. He's he's improved. You know, he wasn't he didn't do so well for Star League. But, you know, there's always a next time. And Star League's gonna start again after the finals, right after the finals, I guess. And let's see what he's got to say for his fans. You know, his head coach, all his teammates. Well, I've made it to all the matches. And we didn't have Hero and Byung, and I was kind of nervous, you know, it was kind of unstable, but Head Coach Park still trusted in me. You know, <laughs> Byung pointed out that, you know, Bunny was kind of unstable, you know, he wasn't sure if Bunny would be able to win. 
but Bonnie practice. Uh, Bonnie does really well during practice sessions. I don't know what Biel is trying to do today at the interview, but yeah, this was today's MVP, Biel or CJ Entis, and this was Kanada and Sojung. Thank you, as always, for that translation, Sojung. Um, good to hear from Biel. Um, really short in his interview today, but but uh, very frank about how he feels about ZBZ and. We talked about the mineral patches like you were talking about Moonglade, about why that map is good for that build. Yeah, man. What's it all about? These are our matches for next week, by the way. The player list will be revealed on Friday. It's Prime versus Samsung and then Jin Air versus KT Rolster. That'll be on Monday. But perhaps more important, actually certainly more important than this right now, is the finals for Star League are going to be on Saturday at 6.30 p.m. They're going to be here in this studio, so absolutely get down here. So everyone you know to tune in as well. This is going to be a great final. This is going to be the very first supposed to be StarCraft II Star League finals ever. Mm. The winner of this tournament will be a Royal Rotor. So just keep that in mind. It's going to be a pretty, pretty sick match. It's going to be a very close one. A best of seven with two of the best turns in the world. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. Both kind of soaring on a bit of a, you know, doing pretty well for themselves and both individually. So I think it's going to be one of the, one of the great TVTs we have. Yeah, and uh, as we saw yesterday in Dream's interview, it's kind of like most people in Korea are saying that the the three top Terrans are Innovation, Dream, and Maru, and the winner of the Star League basically like will then have to like compete with Innovation as to who is the best Terran. But there's like a lot of pride on the line here, a lot of TBT pride, and then just kind of whoever wins can just brag and say, "I'm better than you as a Terran player. I beat you in this TBT matchup." So I feel like there's a lot on the line here, and it's a lot of money on the line, a, a lot, lot of WCS money. points. I mean, it's a pretty big deal. It's all so important for so many reasons. Yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely a race to see who the top dog of career is for Terran. No doubt about that, man. Oh, for sure. Well, guys, we'll see you then on Saturday for the Star League Finals. Have a great night.